And hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kaz Has. My name is Kaz Vaughn. This is a game called Chain Champ. It is by Todd Luke, and it's available for free on Game Jolt. The game, basically, is a platformer in which you have no means of locomotion other than a chain that you shoot out and swing with. It's kind of like Bionic Commando, but literally you only have your chain. So, let me get into this, and I will show you exactly how it works. So we'll just go to... Let's do the level I already beat because it's kind of hard. All right, here we are. Uh, we're this happy little robot. Well, looks like a melancholy little robot. Really, he's... doesn't look too happy. The controls are basically the mouse cursor. You can use the arrow keys if you set in the options. You can use the arrow keys instead of the mouse cursor. And then Z. So Z will shoot your chain out and it'll make you start swinging. And what you want to do is swing over and capture the bird at the end of every level. And the challenge comes from locomotion itself, really. Uh, trying to control your swings, trying to progress to the end of the level without just straight up dying. And let's see if I can get over here. There's a lot of challenge to it. And <laughs> I, I could beat the first world pretty reliably. Second world, not so much. So in this section here, you kind of have to use, it actually tutorializes it. You got to use these kind of as ladders. Uh, you jump in the direction you're facing. So say I'm facing the other direction, I let go, I fly that way. If I'm facing this direction, I let go, I boost up towards the way I'm facing. And that's just the regular blocks. Now the red blocks, you'll see a little timer appear on my guy. If I wait too long, it'll actually let go automatically for me. There I let go by myself, but I just don't want to fail this. Oh, let's see if I can test it here. If you hang out for too long, it'll actually release you. And you don't actually die from it, but it more often than not will result in your death if you're not careful. And let's see, there's another ladder section. You cannot use your grapple in midair. It's not really meant for that. It's not really meant to be a uh, super quick... Oh man, I'm failing now. It's not meant to be a super quick precision uh, platformer. More of a think about your moves kind of thing. There are parts where you do have to hurry though and I'll hopefully be able to show that off. If not the next level, I think it's the one after that. Let's see. Swing over here. And you can shoot your chain pretty far, which is nice. Oh, fell right into the lava. Yeah, it's this level for sure. But I gotta get over there first. If you have your chain length like at such an angle and you let go, you'll go flying quite a ways. And that's really the hardest part. And see, this block will disintegrate and lava will start coming down. And if I'm not quick, if I just hang out there for too long, it will kill me. And there's other levels later on where the lava will actually start filling up an area and you have to move your butt. Kind of like this. If I wait too long, this lava will actually come down and uh, completely block off my progress right here. But I'm not going to stick around for that crap. Let's see. Get over here. The uh, gray blocks you cannot grapple onto at all. Whoop. Get over there. Let's see if I can get up here. And there. That was the first world. Pretty easy. We'll get into the second world. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you how difficult it gets. I believe the worlds are basically the higher the bird is up on the pedestal, the harder it is. But I could just be making that up. I really haven't really don't have any basis for that. So this is the first level of the second world, what I presume to be the second world, and uh, I don't think I've beaten it once yet, so let's see if we can go. That's new. That'll uh, track you along as you're holding on to it. Oh, there we go. I always get in those situations where the higher you are in your swing when you let go, the faster and more momentum you'll have. Let's see. Oh, got stuck there. See, I was just swinging a little bit, so I didn't fly so quick. There we go. Oh, I dipped actually down into the lava there. I don't know how to prevent that. It's kind of hard to predict when that kind of stuff's going to happen. The game doesn't really uh, let on to that information too easily for you. Let's see if I can get a short swing so I can get closer. Darn it. Well, that's not good. Try this again. But yeah, the game is pretty complete for being just a free web game, and it's actually a whole lot of fun. Uh, 
I'm gonna try that one more time, and then I'll go to another level just so I can show off some other things, because I don't want to make you have to watch me suffer through a part that I can't beat. Okay, let's try and exit out here. Anytime we hit escape and go to a different world, let's try a different one. I have not been to this one yet, so let's check it out, shall we? Let's see. Alright, it looks like I have to drop down here. And then do some... Whoa. Guess I gotta get up there, huh? There we go. Oh. Oh, that was bad. Ah ha ha. There's some precision in this. I have no idea how to get over there. How do you even get Oh, did I do it? I beat it. But I didn't even get to the bird. Maybe the bird's just hiding. Alright, I think that'll do it. I think you'll know by now whether or not you want to give this a try, and I encourage you to do so. It's a lot of fun. Requires some skill. Might take some time to get good at it. I mean, even being able to beat that first world took me a, quite a few tries. This has been Chain Champ by Todd Luke. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.